All right, we're just cleaning a couple of bedrooms today. And the carpets are really old and uh, probably full of dirt, everything. It's kind of dark today, it's overcast, so I hope the video comes out. But we're going to first rake the carpets, do the edges with the Dyson and the wand, and then we'll do a video with the sanitaire doing the vacuuming. So stay tuned for that. All right, we're going to try to get some uh, little colored stains out with the steamer. There's a red stain. You can kind of see it right there in the center of the screen. And we've got the steamer heated up, and it's hot too. And he's put down 50-50 uh, ammonia and water for the sprayer. And there's actually little spots in the closet. There's a little smudge. And there's a brown smudge right there next to the hose. There's a little red stain right, right above it. The, that's there's water. another little red stain right here, right there. here, real little, but we might as well get a mount while we're over here. And while he's working on that, real quick. Oh, hey, bring the camera. I'm going to try to lift this up. All right, we'll lift it up, see if anything's happened so far already. It's starting to slightly transfer. All right, and I'll show you this other room. There's like a trail here as you're walking in this dark. We don't know if the steamer's going to affect that or not. We may just have to scrub it out with the org. We can't tell if that's gum or what it is. It yeah. looks like gum. Hold the camera up so there's some perspective. You can see there's, this is all going to come out with the org basically. There's some spots up here. They may be gum or they could be cigarette burns. We didn't really check them that close, but they will take gum out. Uh, cigarette burns it may just take out some of the ash, the dark color from it. Some more. And there's just various little stains. This is a pretty old carpet. No carpet protectant of any kind is left in it, so it stains really easily. All right, let's see where we're at. And you can't always get every stain out. If it's been set for a long time, sometimes it won't come out. And if somebody tried to treat it with a, uh, like Resolve or something like that, and tried to get it out, sometimes it makes it a permanent thing that's never gonna come out. Yeah, you can't so get them all. Yeah, you try it, and if you can get it out, great. If you can't, then you don't charge for it. Well, I'd like to, but you don't if you can't get it out. And we're not going to show all this because this is going to probably take 20, 30 minutes to get we'll every little We'll show bits and pieces of it as we we'll go We'll show along. you bits and pieces as we go along. All right, I'm going to stop uh, here and turn it back on in a couple I'll of minutes. I'll come over here and you can see the steam coming off the iron. So I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a little trick that carpet cleaners use for their videos. It's not a bad thing or anything, but this is actually a really cold day. So if you open a window and you're using a carpet wand or something like that, you're going to have tons and tons and tons of steam coming off, even though you're not really using all that hot of a water to clean with. So that's no trick. Even the rug doctor with tap water has steam coming off the carpet if you wait till a freezing cold day and open the windows up. It's just one of those little things <laughs> that you can do. But that's a lot of steam, but it's easier to see today. But anyway, stay tuned and I'll see what you got. It's fading. It'll okay. come out. It'll take a couple of treatments, but it'll come out. So we pre-sprayed everything with the ammonia and water, and what will happen is if we take a long time to get back to a stain, we may have to spray a little bit more down. Yeah, he's still working on that. So anyway, I'll, uh, we'll make a little progress and then show you what we've got accomplished. So keep watching. All right, we had a little red stain there. You can kind of see a hint of it. That's most of the way out. We have another stain, a red stain right in here. And you can still see a little bit of it. Um, a lot of times people have treated these with Resolve or some other kind of clear. They've tried to get them out and they make them, have a, they make them permanently set into the carpet and nothing's going to get them out. So you never know because this carpet's pretty old and uh, those red stains I think are pretty recent. But they probably did try to treat them because they do inspections here every month. So. And as much as these have faded out since we've been steaming on them, they could just go ahead and come on the rest of the way out when the carpet fully dries. After, I mean, they could be out in the morning. Red stains are weird. They can surprise you. You think you didn't get them all out and look at them the next day and they're gone. Yeah, some of the darker little spots like that, they'll come out and sometimes they won't. But the orbiter, will, the orc will usually scrub them out. So we're going to keep working on these. We've got a nice fan in here. We've got a few stains in here we're going to try to treat. And basically, 
So it's not uh, it's not really hard process, but you got to wait around on the machine to do its work. So it takes a little time. All right, well keep watching, and we'll see if we can get all this stuff out or not. Right now, it's not looking too hopeful, but we'll see. All right, <clears throat> we've finished. We kind of basically decided to go ahead and just scrub the stains, the, the things out as much as we can, and maybe treat afterwards. We've already got everything put away in here, but we're letting this cool off. You want to let these things cool off for a while before you dump the remaining water out of them. That way the heating element can cool down slowly and cause you less trouble in the future. And he's got the bonnet cleaning going. I think he's doing the closets and uh, behind the doors. Yeah, it's like a bleach stain back there. The red stain, there was one it was actually right in here, and it's actually out. The brown stain didn't, didn't like the steam. Uh, let's see, there was another one, I think, right? Yeah, it's right there, and it's faded. And there was a little red spot that didn't really respond to steam. So we're getting ready to go ahead and bonnet clean everything, and then we're going to extract it with the rug doctor. So. Yeah, that red stain, it, it came out. Yeah, I can still barely see it, but it's a lot lighter. If you can pick it up on camera, it's only on camera, it's real down. When it dries, it'll probably be the rest of the way out in a few hours. So anyway, stay tuned, we're going to do the bottom cleaning with the ore next. Alright, he's wrestling with the cord. These cords on the ores are soft, so they stick to it. It sticks to itself a little bit here and there. Let's see how it does. And again, I apologize for the lighting being funny. It's a very overcast day and it's cold, so this camera's gonna probably overboost the the light and make it look kind of weird. But this is an ugly carpet. It's just real old and worn out. And the nap is cr crushed. But everything's coming out right now. These ore burners will clean our carpet. Yeah. They're real good about restoring the, the texture of the carpet. No, Even though it's not going to last for very long. Some people that are in the carpet just think you need a heavier machine. The one is 70, 80, 90 pounds, but that's not so. What you do with this is it's not, you just slow down a little bit and the aggression of the machine will take care of the weight factor that you don't have with it. Because the heavier machines you can go a little bit quicker, it's true, because you've got that extra head weight. But these, see, you just slow down a bit and they'll do anything the big machines do, they'll just do it a little slower. Did you get the uh, threshold of this closet? Yeah, it's all done. That, that, that closet is shutting up all our life. Yeah. So, these are our so these are probably the best tool in carpet painting is one of these things. If you don't have one, you're missing out. And if you have a big heavy buffer, hey, those are cool, but have fun taking them up the stairs and loading them in your van. This is easy. And it does a good job and there's no heavy lifting, no back aches at the end of the day. Knee strain, none of that stuff. Yeah, but if you like your big 175. Yeah, they're great. I like them. That's great. We're not trying to put them down. If I was working on one level place that's never gone upstairs, I'd love to have a 175 or, or, a, or a big orbital machine, but I'm not taking one up the stairs. I'll take back this up the stairs. Here and you can see kind of, he started the door. So this, <clears throat> this area is all undone. Oh, it's turning out real nice. Another thing about these orbital machines, uh, all orbitals will do this. They they uh they have a way of standing the carpet back up when it's all matted down. They have something about them where they will help to restore the carpet fibers again. Not 100 percent, but they do a pretty good job of reestablishing the fibers if they're matted. We've taken some pretty matted carpets and unmatted them with this machine and this and just this pad. Oh, here's another thing. People talk about which pads to get. These are the cheapest pads you can buy. They're called the encapsulation pads. They're sold by Oral Carpenter. We get them on Amazon. They're 10, 12 dollars a piece. And one pad will last you 60 or 70, uh, two or three bedroom apartments. The pads will last a long time. And uh, I've gone over carpets with the carpet brush. We've got videos where you can see that. We've done everything we can, we can but you can't beat the pads. And I know there's fiber pads and all that out there, but I like these things. These absorb as they go, so you're taking dirt out that you won't have to extract later with your rug doctor or 
your truck mount or whatever kind of structure you're into using your portable. Uh, these these things just do a, these pads are wonderful. Yeah, yeah, I hope you can see this on camera how the texture is being improved as it goes along. Well, the carpet's just turning blonde. Everywhere I go, the, the carpet's blonde behind it. When it's blonde, it's done good. It's beautiful. If you find your little bad area, you slow down a bit. Yeah, we'll see when he gets to these stains. Now let me. Uh, whatever they are, we'll see I'm how that comes out. I'm gonna stop and the pad over. All right. And how often do you put the pads? People ask us how often do you put the pads. Well, I'll tell you, it's up to your discretion. You use your common sense. If you think the carpet's real dirty, flip the pad quicker. If you think the carpet's pretty clean, then go a longer ways with the pad before you flip it. You yeah, we're going over this with an extractor. So if the pad gets a little bit dirty, we're just actually scrubbing. It's absorbing some of the stuff up, but we're actually really just trying to give the carpets a good scrub because we're going to go over with the rough doctor and extract everything. Now, I did put the pad, even though I don't need to, because we're going to extract, I'm taking care of this uh, to make sure I'm not using a dirty pad on the carpet. When I think it needs flipped or washed out or replaced, I'll do that. But, yeah, you basically, uh, the how often you flip the pad is up to your own discretion. I think you'd be better over here. Yeah, I'm trying to find a spot where I don't block off because all the light. Because my heading towards the door and the wall. Alright, I'll get up against right the wall. There. Yeah, these, uh, these orbiters, they don't wear you out to use them, so it's kind of nice if you've got to do a bunch of jobs they in one day. You can do this for eight hours and you won't be tired. This is the best uh, friend a carpet cleaner can have, no matter what kind of business you're running. If you don't have one of these, you're messing out. See, look at the carpet just turning beautiful. And this is a very old worn out carpet too. Yeah, this carpet is not one that you can even rake because there's just not enough of the carpet fiber left that you can rake it very good. It's just kind of, you just get it as clean as you can and it kind of is what it is. We'll probably run the rake over just to make sure everything that is in there is going the same direction. But this, it's not going to look real impressive this carpet, when that This carpet is, done. Is, is like eight or nine years old. This is not a one or two year old carpet. This is an old carpet that's been used hard. And uh, it's cleaner, I don't know. Are those stains coming out? Uh, there's a red stain that we didn't, we didn't take out. But right. right over here, where the pump machine's at, we didn't try to take it out either. Actually, I didn't see it until just now. Okay, and there's these little things up here. We think they're probably cigarette burns. Man, it's so dark, I can't even see in here. It's funny, I think the camera the camera picks stuff up that I can't see because it's being so dark, but it, it kind of gives it an artificial boost. And so what you're seeing on screen is probably not really very accurate to what's going on. Because the corner right there is actually pretty dark to the naked eye, but the camera seems to be able to see it fine. So. Yeah, I see a lot of people's videos and when they're done, their carpets look terrible. And, uh, and at first you think, man, they did a bad job of stuff running the video, but you figure out if they think it looks good and they stop the video, it probably does look good. It's just the, the video camera will kind of distort the truth. Yeah, and it picks up moisture in the carpet, so if you have an area that's extra damp because you had to scrub a stain out, it's going to show up as a dark, splotchy area on camera, but it's going to look fine to the naked eye. So. Well, we did one the other day that's on YouTube, and when we looked at the video, the carpet looked horrible on YouTube, but in real life, it was, it was, it was, it was magnificent. We, we never stop them until they're done. So, but sometimes the camera will deceive the audience into thinking you did something halfway or really bad. This was kind of worn here. All right, well, he's working on that a little bit. I'm gonna show you the next room because this one does have some stains in it. And he has not pre-sprayed it yet. So he's gonna, I'm gonna stop so he can pre-spray the carpet. We're gonna use uh, gasoline and a match. And then we're going to scrub it with the work. So stay tuned. All right, sorry about that. We had the camera shut off for some reason. It's been acting mysterious in this colder weather. All right, that brown stain right there is what he's about to hit. We'll see if it does anything to it. It may not. Yeah, that could be like a bleach kind of stain too. Alright, there's a little bit of stains there. We've been having some issues with the camera lately where 
you push the record button, and then when you get done, there's nothing been recorded, and you don't even know because the timer's working and everything, but it's just we're having some glitches, so hopefully the last 20 minutes of video actually got recorded. Well, we're trying to remember to keep an eye on our timer and watch it work. Yeah. Because what happens is you'll be sitting here and you'll be making a video and all of a sudden the camera shuts off. Which is usually an indication it's not recording anything because it shuts off after two minutes of not being used. So let me put them on it. The we'll see what happens. We got the maintenance guy on the way, so we may just go ahead and turn the camera off for a while anyway because he's going to be talking. So we don't record all that. Yeah, he's here. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and we'll show you maybe some more in a little bit. All right, here we are using the rug doctor in that room we just bought it cleaned, and we're going to try to get the extraction done and get out of here for the day. It's kind of dark in here, so we'll see how this turns out. It's very clean from the bonnet cleaning, so the uh, extraction will definitely make it cleaner, not worse. Just moving the cord.
it's almost empty, so I'm going to shut it off so I can make a complete pass. Let's see. I hope the toilet here to work. Let's just dump this down the toilet real quick. Yeah, we'll go ahead and film the dump. This portion of this. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. I've seen worse, but that's that's bad enough that you want your carpet clean if it looks like that. Well, that's a real low flow toilet. <laughs> I've seen some bad ones. You got enough. All right. That might finish both the rooms we're in. I'm having to go a little slower this time. And you can see the carpet is coming out nice. It's so dark in here it's hard to tell, but mostly you can see it. It's turning blonde. Of course, after you use the work over and then use this, you got your dual fitting method. Yeah, if you want to get a good edge painting, you got to get the rug offer.
Okay, that's the entire master bedroom. We got another bedroom, but I'm the, gonna move this in there and I'm gonna rake this real quick the, to kind of get a break. The camera fell while we were filming the bonnet cleaning in the other bedroom. Something happened and the camera messed up. So it's getting old. It's about a six-year-old camera. Well, so we didn't do a video in here, so we're not gonna do the rug doctor. Plus, the room's small and it's real tight to move around. So anyway, that's gonna be it for the rug doctor and the oil rubber for this one. But well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna rake it real quick. We'll we'll, we'll show a raking video. Turn it off and restart it. We'll have it separate. Okay, here comes just. All right, here comes our Grandy Groom video. So. All right. Okay, let me show you what it looks like real quick. Again, with the way these cameras can create their own little shadows and stuff, we don't know how it looks on camera, but it looks magnificent in real life. So, that's it. We'll see you later. Okay, we finished everything. Some of the video didn't end up being on the camera like we hoped, but hopefully we got enough to make it look good. And this is the room and remember it had all the red spots and everything in it that we tried to get out and they're basically disappeared down to nothing. All the stains here by the door are gone and if you remember there was a lot of like tracks of something got spilled here going into the room and that's all gone. The only thing wrong with this carpet now is a little bit loose and needs stretched but that's no big deal. And for as old as these carpets are it's a pretty good final result. Anyway, uh, we'll see which videos we have and we'll put them up for you and hope you enjoy them. And until next time, thanks for watching.